Hi, I'm Matthew Mullen, and I'm presenting Space HX, a simple space heat exchanger for the UW Madison 100 hour challenge. So, pop quiz time which of the following items do you think contributes more to climate change? A. Charging your laptop, B. Using your toaster, or C. The windows in your house? If you answered windows, you'd be correct. Turns out that 55% of all the energy used in U.S. households just goes towards heating and cooling our homes, and most of that is lost through uninsulated parts of our homes, such as doors and windows. Now, we all know about the importance of using less energy to combat climate change, but now, more than ever, it is important to save energy, and that's because of the war in Ukraine. You see, Russia used to supply Europe with 40% of their natural gas, but since the war started, prices skyrocketed. This means that saving energy is not only important in the long term, but can save lives now. For example, England's NHS estimates that 10,000 people a year die in the UK due to being unable to afford their gas to heat their homes, and this data was from 2021. So what can we do? Well, 46% of houses in the US are heated with natural gas, and that number is over two-thirds in Wisconsin. So if we save on energy, that can have a big impact. And that's where Space HX comes in. So what is it? Well, it's a panel that attaches to your window and cools your house in the summer and keeps it warm in the winter using zero electricity. But how does it work? It uses the power of infrared radiation. Everything emits thermal radiation, but not all things emit it equally. Glass emits a lot of thermal radiation and can cool down your house. And aluminum foil emits very little and can reflect back thermal radiation. That's how those aluminized mylar emergency space blankets work to keep you warm. That's why our prototype is just simply a piece of cardboard with potato chip bags taped onto it. Potato chip bags are made of mylar and act similar to a space blanket. But to really understand how it works, let's take a look at some diagrams. Let's start with the summer first and zoom in on the window. In the summer, you want to keep the inside cooler than the outside, but windows let in about 1000 watts per square meter of sunlight. For context, if you have a 9 square foot window, that's like microwave in your room. Fortunately, while glass is transparent to sunlight, it's a great emitter of far infrared radiation and actually emits that radiation into space, which is very cold. In practice, it actually emits radiation to the upper atmosphere, but you get the idea. The amount of heat is dependent on the difference in temperature between the glass and space, but all you need to know is that the heat from the sun is way more unless you had a reflective sheet of mylar on your window to reflect the sunlight out of your window. Then the windows of your house would actually cool the house down. In the winter during the day, you would just keep things as normal because you want the sunlight to heat up your home for free. But at nighttime in the winter, you'd want to put on a thicker version of the Space HX on your window, preferably one made of foam and with mylar on both sides. That way all the radiation in your home would get reflected back in and the Space HX would emit very little radiation to the glass as well. So that's how you save energy, save money on your heating bill, save the planet and save lives. Thanks for watching.